The following video demonstrates how to clean and disinfect your gastroscope using your suction unit. It is imperative that you do a leak test prior to any immersion and any cleaning and disinfection. So remove the signal cable from the video processor and connect the waterproof cap. Connect the leak tester to the waterproof cap. Ensure the needle is set at zero and inflate to the test zone, which is approximately 12 o'clock on the dial. With a leak tester attached, move the scope wheels all the way forwards, all the way backwards, all the way to the left and all the way to the right. This will ensure that you're not masking any small holes or perforations down at the distal end of the scope and the needle should hold steady. If you're confident that you don't have any leaks in the scope, the scope is fine to be cleaned and disinfected. Depressurise the scope by turning the dial. Disconnect the leak tester and the waterproof cap from your scope and reconnect your signal cable. There is a red dot on the signal cable that aligns at 12 o'clock on the processor and the red dot that aligns at 12 o'clock on the connection on your video endoscope. Take your patient tube and immerse the patient tube in your pre-prepared enzymatic made up to your manufacturer's dilution rates. Turn your suction unit on, push and hold the red button down and aspirate approximately 150 to 200 millimetres of enzymatic through the scope. Turn the suction unit off and leave the scope soaking for half of its allotted time. Remove the blue button, remove the red button and remove your biopsy cap. Take your cleaning brush and pass it down through the two channels underneath the red aspiration connection port. The first hole is located directly in front of you. When you're passing your cleaning brush, keep your fingers close to the port so as not to cause any kinks or damage in the cleaning brush. Any damaged or kinked instrument should not be used. Pass the cleaning brush until the brush emerges at the aspiration connection on the scope. For this portion, you can remove your suction tubing. Remove any clinical pathology from the brush and repeat the process as many times as you need to. The second hole is located at six o'clock. So we pass the cleaning brush forwards. This is the start of the channel. Again, keeping your fingers close to the port so as not to damage or kink the brush. The brush will emerge at the end of the patient tube. Again, remove any clinical pathology from the brush and repeat the process as many times as you need to. The third area for brushing is down through the biopsy port. And again, this will emerge at the end of the patient tube. Once again, remove any clinical pathology from the brush. Whilst the scope is in its enzymatic, clean the patient tube, clean the control body and clean the wheels. Clean, and dis clean the blue piston and the red piston. This can be done with a soft brush. Following all the flushing and the brushing with your enzymatic, reassemble the components of the scope. Reconnect the biopsy cap, refit the air water piston and refit the aspiration piston. Discard your enzymatic and refill your cleaning station or your tray with clean water. Turn your suction unit back on, push the red button down and aspirate approximately 150 to 200 millimetres of clean water to remove the trace elements of enzymatic from the scope. 
After you've rinsed your scope with clean water following your enzymatic cleaning, flushing and brushing, refill your cleaning station or your bath with pre-prepared disinfectant made up to your manufacturer's dilution rates. With your suction unit still turned on, push and hold the red button and aspirate approximately 150 to 200 millilitres of disinfectant through your scope. And leave your scope to soak for its allotted time. Following disinfection, remove the disinfectant and replace that with clean water. Turn your suction unit back on and aspirate approximately 150 to 200 millilitres of clean water through your scope. This will remove any trace elements of disinfectant from the channels. Remove the scope from the clean water following disinfection and dry your scope. You can do this and hang it back up on your endoscopy cart, on the hanger, dry the patient tube, gently dry the lenses at the distal end of the scope. Push and hold the red button until you don't have any more water collecting in your aspiration tubing. With the pump on the light source still turned on, disconnect the water bottle. Be careful that this doesn't anti-siphon and the water bottle can now be cleaned and disinfected. Put your finger over where the water bottle has just been removed from. Cover the blue button and this will remove any water from the air channel. Press the blue button all the way down with your finger still over the connection and this will remove any excess water from the water channel. With the scope stored hanging up, any excess fluid that has not been evacuated from the scope will automatically drain. Turn your unit off and turn your suction unit off.